So the essence of aesthetics is variety. So you have to have surgeries of different varieties, of different nature, of different humor. <coughs> We are not to have everybody just the same. But in the essence of it, all of them have to love them. Then the best of yours that you enjoy the most, not the flowers so much, not the nature so much, nothing more than other surgery. Once you start enjoying other sajogis and their company, then you have achieved it. I mean, imagine enjoying every human being who is a sajogi and their company, that's more than sufficient. What more do you want? You don't enjoy other people, you don't enjoy other things so much. But if you are in a beautiful place, and beautiful circumstances, and you are with other centuries also, then nothing matters. It becomes doubly enjoyable, I should say. And every moment becomes an experience. Every person becomes an experience, say, like a wave of joy. Every person you meet, every collectivity you meet, Every ashram you go to, it creates a beautiful wave in your heart of joy. My joy is silent. But when I meet somebody, then it shows itself up. It comes up like a wave. Or sometimes, as you see these uh, drops from the ocean breaking on the shores, beautiful drops, we call them tushari. That's the kind of, there's a beautiful name for them, Tushar. And then the waves go back to your heart. So beautiful is the relationship. And you just watch it as a witness and see the joy. Everything melts away. All your knowledge, so called, all your pains, all your troubles, all your past, all your future, but you remain in the presence, in meditation, watching all this beautiful happening. May God all of you understand. May God in all of you, as spirit, emit that experience all the time. Thank you.